Hey, welcome Gemini, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for February 2020. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself, what resonates, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy, the questions you'd most like answered, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. And uh, there is a coupon code running for February. You can get $15 off any of my personal readings. You can also apply it to the Distance Reiki Energy Healing Sessions or Packages. Coupon code is going to pop up over here in a sec. All you need to do is take it across the booking form. Enter it when prompted to get your uh, $15 off. Everything else you need to know in the description box below. That code is case sensitive, by the way. Yeah, so basically, you've got to type it in exactly how you see it. And for those of you that are brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. My readings are quite different. They're uh, intuitive tarot along with transformational coaching, energy balancing and chakra balancing as well. So I just ask that you be open to the guidance that comes to you and allow it to flow. Yeah, they're quite tra uh, transformative and deeply healing. And for those of you that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. All right, let's get started. We're going to open up your reading. And I just want to say happy Valentine's Day to all the singles and couples out there. We are going to do love and romance, astrology, general energy. We're going to open up your reading with the wisdom of the hidden realms, which is a message direct from spirit. And let's see what you need to know, Gemini. Oh, flying out. Ah, you've got the cosmos, all about your creativity. Mm -hmm. Let's pull you up the guidance. Says Gemini, cosmos always appears as an ally, not as challenger. And uh, there is creativity in all forms represented by the cosmos. It is a sign to place your attention on your creative projects. They will be successful. And remember that all of life is creative and you're always co-creating with the divine. The cosmos represents the principle of infinity and vastness of the energetic exchange of consciousness, influencing all living things. It teaches us that every intention we set is in fact contagious with the power to influence others. We're entangled at our deepest energetic place, so we can't help but have an effect on others from an individual one to a global one. This is a sign to remind you to open up to the well of creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Both are influencing your outer world. Most importantly, keep taking action towards your goals as the cosmos responds perfectly to manifest your highest destiny. Expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all that you create. Kind of a beautiful message for those of you that are creative and got some ideas to run with. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at love and romance with the uh, Romance Angel Oracle. Now we're going to have a look at advice for couples and singles. We're going to split them up. So first up, we're going to pull some advice for couples. Mm, I have to say it's come out for a few times, yeah. Is to let go of control, allow the situation to unfold naturally. They call fixed expectations, pressure you're putting on others, yeah? Just go with the flow, enjoy your partner's company. Mm -hmm. mm. You also got the message to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's building up your sense of self-love, self-worth, focusing on those things that are important to you as well as having a love, a love partnership. It's often about maintaining your independence too. Mm. And just know that it's safe for you to love to open your heart up to receive the highest love of all. It's about letting the walls down, Gemini. Um, mm -hmm. Particularly if it's been impacted by things in the past. Wow, for some of you, there's a reconciliation on the cards. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Hello. All right, let's have a look at singles. Hmm. You've got the message that you've already met the one that you seek, yeah? Mm -hmm. That'll get you thinking. Might have already just met them, or there's someone you're thinking about. Mm. You've got the message to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations and honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Um, 
There's a message coming through that the reconciliation can also be for singles, right? Um, if there's someone you want to get back together with or they want to get back together with you, um, it's about having the heart-to-heart -heart conversations about how you both feel, what tripped you up in the past and moving forward. Um, and if you are single and you've just met someone, it's about being open with your feelings, yeah? Showing that vulnerable side of self. Anything bothering you, bring it up. Wow, singles. Engagement, yeah? Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. It's in directly under, this could be the one. Some of you might be getting a proposal on Valentine's Day. Mm. And clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you soon, which is all about stop procrastinating, make a decision, um, putting out to the universe what you want to manifest if you're very, very single. Mm-hmm. On the bottom of the deck, singles, you've got the message to pay attention to any red flags. Probably why the heart to heart conversations is there. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle. First up, couples, pull you some guidance. Mm, wow. You've got a big fat no. So if someone's trying to come back to you and interrupt your love relationship that you've got going, which is going quite well, the universe is saying no. But you may just say no to them flat, flat point blank doing it's so interesting right when valentine's day hits it's like an open open book to people from the past you think i might just give it one more go I might just get into contact with you know xyz who i used to go out with years ago or tried it on it never went anywhere and come out of the woodwork could be one of those mm -hmm. mm. got a message that it's coming within the next few weeks yeah an invitation to connect. Mm. You've also got improving health on your side. So this could be your health and well-being. It could be your partner's health and well-being. And if it is, you've got a timeline there of the next few weeks. Mm. There will be a peaceful resolution of any conflicts going on in your love relationships. Even if somebody comes to you and wants to reconcile, um, you have the capability of just gently turning that around so there's a peaceful resolution of the energies all right let's have a look at singles what's your advice mm. you have a message that the situation will improve your love life will improve especially if you need to have heart to heart conversations so absolutely remain positive even those of you that are very single single mm. Listen to your intuition, particularly with anything coming up in love relationships or about people that are coming into your life. Are they healthy for you? Do they, do they feel right with you? Um, and you've got a timeline of within the next few months. Yes, yeah, um, it can be within the next few months. If proposals coming in, more commitment. It can mean somebody new is coming into your life. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing going on on the bottom of the deck. which can apply to both couples and singles. Perfect timing for the health and well-being couples. It can be perfect timing for resolution of conflict for any people that want to come back into your life. Um, singles, it can definitely mean something new coming in, proposing, getting proposed to. All right, let's pull you some predictions with the angel tarot. It's two here. Mm. You've got your brilliant ideas are going to lead you to success, right? There can be a challenging beginning. Seeing the truth of the situation, often there is a challenging beginning when you want to run with your ideas. Interesting, your first opening energy was all about your creativity. You've also got Archangel Michael, the Emperor, which is about applying structure, organisation, logic, discipline to your efforts, particularly um, in terms of your career. Do here. Mm. You've got Archangel Raziel, which is the magician in this deck. Yeah, you're ready. You've got all the resources you need to create what you want to create in your life. Absolutely speaks to running with your ideas or your career. Um, you've also got the Night of Earth. Again, it's all about bucking down, honouring your commitments, the effort you're going to put in to create your abundance in your life, your money flow. It does say you've got a guardian angel watching over you at this time. You always do, by the way. Yeah. 
Mm, this is beautiful. This kind of backs up the proposal. Yeah, the night of water. Falling in love, wedding proposals. Yeah, the need to have more fun to lighten up a bit. Um, mm -hmm. Invitations to social events going on. There is a need to balance your emotions. So. Mm. You've also got the ten of fire, so watch this energy. Yeah, too much work going on, stress-related health concerns that need to take some time out for self. And also pretend to conflict with others. Mostly in the workplace, yeah. Alright, let's please some guidance from the energy oracle around your general energy. Let's see what we need to know, Gemini. Right now. Oh, yeah. You've got these beautiful caring connections around you. Singles and couples, yeah. Applies to both of you. Very loving partnership there. Mm. In terms of what you want to achieve, particularly around your career, you've got the message to have a strategy. It's directly related to being organised and disciplined, yeah. Mm. Wow. As well as taking time out to rest rejuvenate yourself because it came out hand in hand with an angel of balance so whatever you're trying to do in your career you need to make time for self and balance the key balance is the key gemini yeah because there's a storm warning around your health and well-being and yeah, directly related to that if you push it too hard your health's going to suffer all right let's put some guidance from the goddess guidance deck Oh, that so wants to come out. Mm. You've got Maui Mother Earth, which means that it's an ideal way to balance and ground your energies. Get your feet on Mother Earth, get out in nature, just to de stress, have some quiet time alone. It can also mean that you're a protector and of Mother Earth, Mother Nature, yeah, around environmentalism or you care about the environment, you do your bit to recycle, all those kind of things, yeah. Mm. You've also got Pell Divine Passion being really honest with yourself about what's your heart's desires. I'm pretty sure you pulled this in your monthly. Yeah? It's directly related to what you want to create in your life, your strategies, your, how you're going to go forward. It feels like for some of you, there's a bit of a choice coming up in terms of running with your own ideas. Mm, wow. Right in the centre of your reading, you've got Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. Um, it's directly related to you being a magician in your own life and creating what you want to create. It's also related to rest and rejuvenation. So if you've been going through a challenging time, you want things to turn around, it's not about pushing hard, right? It's about releasing and letting go. Putting out to the universe what you want to draw to you, either in love or around your career, your finances, allowing universal energy to support you. Mm -hmm. You've got to match your vibration. Mm. And also to trust yourself, your inner wisdom. See the truth of situations and then take action. Uh, it's directly related to being in balance. It's also directly related to you taking action, making an effort to create your abundance. Mm. And you've got Mary Magdalene, unconditional love, treating yourself and others with kindness and compassion. Um, you don't know what they're going through. If the storm is related to others, um, conflict with others, it's about trying to see both sides of the situation. Listening with your emotions. What does that mean? Put yourself in the other person's shoes. All right, let's put some guidance with the uh, crystal reading deck. Mm, wow, some of you are going through a spiritual awakening, more connectedness to spirit. You may get downloads of your past life information, gifts and talents coming back to you. Mm. Some of you absolutely have to face the shadow side of self. It's directly related. If you're somebody that's disorganized and struggle with focus, that is a shadow side of self you need to face, directly related to that. Um, for others, it's about being really honest about what it is that you're passionate about that you want to follow. And there's absolutely a need to ground and balance your energy here the time. Um, it's directly related to rest and rejuvenation. Cards are flying out, Gemini. 
Mm. Yeah, animals might need more attention at this time, Chrysotile, or your animal spirit guides may show up for you, yeah? Just to confirm that you're on the right path or you might be asking something of spirit and your animal spirit guide's going to show up. Mm. There's absolutely need to apply self-love. Like, look after yourself, Gemini. Okay? Take some time out for self. Um, particularly if there's people being a little bit conflictual around you. All right, let's put you some guidance from the messenger oracle. What is it Gemini needs to know? Highest level of guidance. Mm, wow, there's so much here telling you to get yourself out in nature. See yourself in nature. Mm -hmm. Very much anything coming up for you emotionally or around your mindset. Uh, it's just going to soothe your energies, yeah. Mm. This is right through your reading, yeah. Six your answers within. Big Bear here with his heart chakra highlighted, with the third eye chakra highlighted within the heart chakra, which is trust in your heart and your wisdom and your intuition to guide you, not seeking answers outside of self. What feels right for you? What puts you in flow? Mm. Again, you've got to embrace the dark shadow side of self coming out. You've also got the moon there, so the lunar cycles might affect you this month. Mm. So much here about nature. Yeah, honouring Gaia. Protecting Mother Earth, nature. Um, connecting with it. On the bottom of the deck, you've got heed your dreams. So you may get subliminal messages in your dreams about your path. You may get messages from spirit in your dreams. All right, let's put your crowning energy. One of my favourite decks, by the way. All right. Let's see what you can know, Gemini. Mm, wow. Hello. you got sacred phoenix heart. Trust in your heart, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Pull you up the guidance. And if this is the first time you've watched one of my readings, the crowning energy can be deeply transformative and healing, so don't leave just yet. Mm -hmm. often brings the whole reading together. It says, Gemini, under the cover of blood, love veils many rose gardens. In total faith, love tenderly guides every lover to the garden of the heart. Rumi, reason says, the world is limited in six directions. There is no way out. Love says there is a way and I've traveled it many times. Rumi, how I adore you. Your defiant, rebellious heart, it knows for what the mind is an end, for the heart is simply another match to ignite the sacred flames. It eats of love until it is filled, and then it becomes hungry again and eats some more, again and again. It eats of love until it is so full it must simply explode into a sacred fire of passion. It bursts incapable of sustaining old consciousness in the expanse of blessings unlimited lavished upon it through the great beloved's affection. It would be like attempting to fit an ocean in a teacup, so it does not. It bursts forth like a dying star into spectacular radiance, only to be reborn again, new and hungry for the next feeding frenzy in love's great banquet. How I adore your defiant, rebellious heart. Love guides us through many travails that seem improbable, if not impossible. It does not shy away from any challenge, from any cause. It cannot. It is just love's way. Love says to us, there is always another way. You are receiving this guidance now. Perhaps you're scratching your head quizzically or in the deepest despair because you appear to have met a dead end. A frowning no or a dismissive laugh upon your quest to bring love alive. So then, do you choose to believe in love or in the death of sorts of your, that your heart faces? Your heart shall rally. I choose death because that is the portal to new life. And so it is wise, you see, but you must be brave. To be burned in love by love for love will involve the endurance of pain, but it will also place it in its context. The pain comes and goes quite quickly when you realise that love is simply playfully smacking your wrist and saying, not that way, my darling. There are great pitfalls on that path. Come take this one where there shall be wine and dancing. So you are guided to accept the closed doors to death to pain and to let it become tinder for your fire. Cry whatever tears need to be cried so your tinder can be dry and ready to create the sparks your heart needs. 
that sacred phoenix ready to die into life within you, is hungry for the fire. Let it feast so it can fulfill its potential, its divine destiny, and become born again into new form, more divinely aligned and alive than ever before. So this oracle comes with a message for you. You may feel as though you've been wandering in a desert for many years with no oasis in sight. You might have been through darkness, through trials, endured confusion and uncertainty as you sought for your truth, sought divine revelation, and sought your purpose to confirm your plans. Seek no more. The answers are now given or very soon will be, and the life, the passion, the purpose will all come to you in clarity. And does life need to be grasped for? It is bestowed according to grace and destiny. It is not so much sought, so much as received. The spiritual destiny that calls to your soul, even whilst you feel your bodily ears are deaf to the call, makes your heart leap. It is through hearing the beloved's voice and stirring an ancient memory of love, so powerful it moves you, even without necessarily understanding how or why. So let life come to you. Be prepared to let the old version of your life pass away into the new life being born. And what does this mean? It means letting go of your striving, your opinions, your doubts, your despair and your fears. Life wants to happen through you, blazing angel. You don't have to do so much other than get out of your own way. Love is your nature. Let it flourish and life shall unfold accordingly. And this oracle brings you a particular message about divine timing, that oh so significant factor about our dreams coming to life. Your time is fast approaching. It may even be now. It may seem least likely to you. There may be great darkness or confusion, and yet the unveiling of the new dawn is closest to the deepest, darkest of night. Do not turn back or turn away from your progress. Your very next step shall be upon hallowed ground, rendered golden by the rays of the rising sun. Oh, how awesome. All right, there's a sacred honouring ritual here, it says. Place your hands on your heart and say, just listen, yeah? This sacred phoenix heart is blessed. Through every loss, grief and sadness, every morning, this heart grows strong, ready to ignite into new life, into the dance that is not the funeral procession, but the rite of spring. This heart is ready to leap to a new life, to be infused with the joy of innocence and the passion of deepest devotion. How I trust my heart to lead me, guided by the inner voice of love, through all that could possibly be, I am safe. This heart knows the way, and I follow it faithfully now into the light of a new day through sacred grace. So be it. Place your hands in prayer and close your eyes. Imagine that there is love in your heart, and that you can send a gentle acknowledgement of that love from your mind to your heart. And as you bow your head towards your hands, imagine that you are mentally bowing to the greatness of your heart and that the love it honours. You have completed your sacred honouring ritual. Oh, how beautiful, Gemini. Wow. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, grab your coupon code before you go. If you want to get a personal reading with me or a distance Reiki energy healing session this month and get $15 off, all the details are below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. <laughs>